Well, I hope your holiday weekend has been going well so far. The weather in Chicago has been fantastic. Um, much better than we anticipated, which I think is good. Uh, we all needed a little bit of sunshine and a little bit of warmer weather. So ho hopefully it's been treating you well. Tonight, I'm gonna jump into a topic that I am fairly certain is gonna get me into a good amount of trouble. Um, but it's a topic that I, I, it's something that I'm personally going through. And so I started to realize that if I was going through something like this, I'm guessing other people are starting to as well. And therefore, I think it's best for us to just draw some attention to it so that we can try and survive and thrive through these types of situations together. Um, in the, uh, at the end of last week, we've, we've seen that the governor and the mayor have started to kind of do more forward focus towards um, opening up Chicago and looking to gravitate towards next phases as they deem appropriate. And with this, we're seeing that businesses are starting to, to reopen under very, very different protocol. And I think this is all really good news for our city. You know, as I said last night, just making sure that we're really respecting uh, one another in it, spreading kindness uh, and doing our part. Now, I'm personally having, a, a, I'd like to say I had an issue, but I'm having an issue uh, with a business that I have been a consumer of for um, almost five years. And, and I'm gonna start off by saying, just because I know that there's gonna be people watching this that are probably related to this business in some level, um, I understand that these, that these orders, these marching orders are coming from, from the top. Um, I understand that everyone is having to make very, very hard decisions about um, reopening businesses and how they do it. Um, this is a business that the, the director and the people within it are people that, that we love with all of our hearts and we think of as family um, from that perspective. But the issue that I'm having is is with my children's daycare. Um, this past uh, this past Friday at 8 p.m., which I thought was a little bit of an inappropriate time to be sending important updates uh, as people are kind of starting to relax and look forward to enjoying a holiday weekend. But that that is here near or there. You know, I know that they're trying to release things as they get information. But they were talking more about their reopening. Um, for those that have it been made aware is that daycares have been given permission to open up, I believe it's on June 1st, uh, as of right now just for essential workers. Essential workers can send their kids back to daycare if um, if they want to. Uh, they don't have to, but if they, if they want to, that service is there. So a few weeks ago, the daycare reached out to us and asked us, you know, are you an essential worker? Are, you know, are you planning on sending your kids back as of the beginning of the, whenever we can? Um, and our, our answer was, I am an essential worker, my husband is not, um, and that at this point in time, we're not comfortable sending our kids back to that, to that situation. Um, the way that I see it is that um, schools aren't open for a reason. Uh, day camps aren't gonna be open this summer. There's, there's pretty much every type of school kid, child activity has been shut down. Um, I know there's absolutely people that need daycare, uh, but we were in a situation that we didn't, and therefore I felt like prioritizing my children's safety um, because we had the ability to do so. So fast forward to this week, they said that they were opening back up. Obviously they don't know when non-essential workers were going to be able to send their children back, but they made some tough decisions on how they're going to handle the people that are not sending their children back. Um, these decisions are tough decisions that all business owners are having to make right now. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about tonight is that as business owners, and I am a small business owner, so I think that I can relate more than more than most, I think it's very important about how, I mean, obviously how we treat our employees throughout this, but also how we treat our clients throughout this as, as we're kind of taking that next step. And for those that are reopening, I've been open the whole time, um, but for those that are reopening, making sure that we're sending the right messages that our our clients are valued by us um, and that we're all understanding together that the monetary losses from this are of an epic proportion. It doesn't matter who it is or what company it is. There's very few companies that are actually thriving in this environment. There's a reason why so many of our major corporations that that CEOs have given away million dollar salaries for the year to keep their companies afloat. It's because we've all, myself included, had to say, this is a year that financially is going to look very different from other years and that realistically we are prioritizing our health, our safety, keeping our our businesses alive and doing all these things. So what, what frustrated me, 
And like I said, if this is happening to me, whether it's in a situation like daycare, which I know a lot of parents that are having these same conversations and struggles as I am, or if it's in something else that you have some sort of uh, consumer connection with, club, membership, something of the sort, they basically said that everyone was going to be uh, responsible for starting to pay uh, a large percentage of their um, their and their monthly dues now, uh, starting as of June first, um, which I understand. Once again, you need you need something to keep things afloat. Uh, a large percentage seemed a little bit excessive for people that either couldn't send their kids back or wouldn't. Um, so I think that that's asking quite a bit, um, especially for those that aren't even allowed to. Um, I understood on some level that they need something to come back and I understand that we're all making these tough decisions but where it started to make it feel not so good was in some of the facts of how they were handling the rest the, the those that chose not to reserve their spots those that chose not to um, not to make the payments um, or even begin a, a choice of a lesser amount uh, I thought that that was it was not necessarily well well handled um, and then in my particular case, I think the icing on the cake was when they said, if you choose not to, you're also foregoing your original security deposit um, and your original pledge. That that felt like a kick in the gut um, to, a, to a company that I have been involved with for over five years. Um, that felt like a kick in the gut as a consumer. So my message to you as business owners, myself included, is make sure you're, as you are reopening and as you're trying to structure and make very, very difficult decisions, Let's make sure we're trying really hard to make our clients feel okay in this. We're all struggling. We're all we're all dealing with this on different levels. Some people can't afford to make those payments anymore. Um, so to penalize them for that, some people can't send their kids back in my situation, um, if you're talking about a daycare. I just think that this is a time that we have to be sensitive to the needs of one another. So. I just wanted to share that tonight as we are reopening businesses. Let's remember as business owners while making hard decisions, let's be sensitive to those that uh, that that have been that have been clients that are going to help bring us back. Once again, just to close that topic out, because I know there's going to be people um, from my specific situation that are watching. Um, I adore all the people that have uh, given so much to my children. Um, I know these aren't the decisions that they're making. I know these are just the ones that are being um, kind of passed out from the hierarchy. So on that note, let's remember to be kind to one another, to ourselves. Let's take care of ourselves and let's take care of one another. Let's remember to be smart in our social distancing. Tomorrow's going to be hopefully another nice day in Chicago. And I know that makes it a little bit more challenging. Let's remember to be grateful to our first responders, to our to our essential workers, everyone out there kind of fighting the good fight. Um, I am appreciative of having you as part of my journey. And, uh, and we've made it through another day. Uh, and I am looking forward to the next. Be well.